Hi, I'm Mike Donahue, owner of Progressive Rescue, here for you today for fire engineering. This is a video to accompany the article you just read on rigging physics. Now, one of the reasons why I love rope work so much is because the physics involved in it. And the more you dive into understanding and learning the numbers and formulas to figure out actually what is going on, the more interesting it gets. So what I wanted to actually go over with you is the math and the formulas you read in the article. Now, it's one thing to read them, but to see them sometimes simplifies things. And this is actually really simple. Now, it's one thing to understand why. We've all been taught, well, the wider the angle, the more force that goes to your anchors. Or the direction of pull you insert in your system is a force multiplier. Right? Yeah, we all understand that. But how about knowing how, okay? How does this force generate more force? How does that angle generate more force in each leg? How does this directional pulley multiply forces? What are the formulas behind it? You should want to be able to give pinpoint numbers when somebody asks you for it, and this is how you do it. We're going to look at our first angle. It's 60 degrees. We're going to look at our load. It's 400 pounds. Now, we're going to work with cosines all right, for this math. Uh, you're dealing with cosine and sine. If you look at this triangle here, this angle part is the hypotenuse. These two lines form your 90 degree angle. Now, up top here, the sine, this angle created here, will be the angle opposite the hypotenuse, whereas down below, the cosine is adjacent. So, for load sharing, we'll work with cosines. In a future article, we'll work with sines, and I'll explain how that's applied to some rigging also. So, back to our load sharing anchor here. We know when we hang a weight and it hits each leg of the anchor, depending on the angle, a different load force is going to be transferred up both lines to the anchor. So to figure that out, you're going to take a calculator and you're going to use the COS button or cosine. So half our load is 200 pounds. So you're going to input 200 multiplied by half of the angle, it's cosine. So you're going to take 30 degrees. So you hit COS 30 equals. That is going to give you a number of 231 point nine six seven six seven you know a bunch of numbers simply just take 231.9 round it up you get 232 pounds so each leg of this anchor is seeing 232 pounds now we know that that ideal angle is about 45 degrees which i believe off the top of my head with a 400 pound load each side is seeing roughly about 212 215 degrees around there uh pounds around there so again, you would take 200, you would multiply it, you'd hit COS, 30 equals, and that's going to give you the load in pounds that's being transferred up to each leg of the anchor. Now, it really becomes a concern as you go up and you open the angles up. So we'll do the same thing again. We're going to take the 400, we're going to cut it in half, 200 pounds. We're going to multiply it by 75, which is the coat, which is half of the angle. So you put 200 multiplied, you hit the COS, 75 equals, that's going to give you a 772.7, round up to 773. So you can see you went from 232 pounds at 60 degrees up to 773 pounds at 150 degrees. That's a big jump, okay? This especially becomes critical when you're working with heavier loads. Now, I'm not concerned about the anchors. The anchors are bomb-proof that we're using here. I'm not worried about them failing. I'm worried about the abuse that the knots, that the pulleys, that the beaners are taking. That's my concern. So if you can input these numbers and you can figure it out, then you can learn how to control physics, make it work for you, and adapt the system to take these numbers and bring them down. Now, if you look over here, we have a directional pulley. Now, directional pulleys are force multipliers. They're going to add force right up the directional pulley line to that anchor. So you're going to have force here. You're going to have force here. Everything's pulling down. It's coming back up, and it's hitting here. All right? It's a constant constant motion, almost like that Knight Rider light. You know, that old show would go back and forth, back and forth. It's the same with tension and loads here. They pull down, and they push up, believe it or not. So it's a constant movement throughout this system. So to find out, the force that's being transmitted up this rope 
right, based on the directional pulley, it's a little different. You're going to take your angle that's created by your main line, comes to 110 degrees. So half of that is 55 degrees. So what you want to do is just hit cosine, 55 degrees, hit equal. You're going to take that number, which is 0 0.57, you're going to multiply it by 2. That will give you a number of 115%. So now you want to take the load, the full load, 800 pounds. You want to put 1.15 times 800. That is going to give you the number in pounds of the force that's being transmitted of that directional, uh, directional pulley line to that anchor. So now that force all right, is coming down, it's hitting that knot, it's hitting that pulley. Right, that's a lot of force based on that 800 pound load. So again, the larger that load gets, the more force that's generated. So again, you're going to take this angle here, 110 degrees. The pulley here sits pretty much right in the middle. Because you have this rope coming down here, the resultant force is going to come straight down. All right? It's going to split that angle right in half. You measure here, 110 degrees. You take half of it, hit the cosine, you multiply that by 2. That gives you percent. You multiply that percent by the load. And that gives you your magic number of 920 degrees. So I encourage you, hop on the internet, just look up cosine, sine, um, give me an email, or send me an email rather. Any info I can give you on this, I'd be more than happy to send your way. It's really easy once you do it a couple times. So hopefully this helped you and explain a little further of what you read in the article. Uh, until next month, stay safe, stay progressive, and as always, keep training.